curiosity, do you have a backup of all your libraries? Yes. These are my backups. One is for my videos, and one is for all of my song projects, beat projects, all of that. I have it Velcroed to my computer so that it's just always with me. That shit is so important. Guys, if you're not backing up your stuff on a hard drive or a cloud drive, you're fucking up. Before you get the latest splice kit, before you go and buy a new decap kit, go and buy yourself a hard drive, an external hard drive, pr preferably one by Samsung because they make really, really good ones. Velcro it to your computer or your PC and keep that shit plugged in. Trust me, it's happened to me before. My computer's crapped on me. Are you fucking serious? And I lost like a bunch of projects. Skipping class for this, Nima? Bro, you guys are bad. Please go get yourself one today, please. Chris, make a horn beat. Maybe, I'm not really feeling horny right now, so maybe I'll make one a little bit later. <laughs> make a warning wood type of beat. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you for uh, for hopping in and, and hanging out for a little bit. Turn this down. Ooh, I kind of like this. And then an octave higher. Yeah, so the thing about Dilla is it's hard for newer the newer generation to appreciate Dilla's music because they don't understand the limitations of the equipment that they had at the time. And I don't fully understand it either. But the shit that Dilla was making with the limitations that he had, it's like people people now wouldn't even be able to imagine what that shit would be like, you know? Like now we have all the tools, we have all the samples, we have all the fucking, the best plugins, the best VSTs, um, we can warp shit, we can just do everything. We don't really have limitations the way they had limitations back then. So that's why I feel like, you know, it's really hard for younger people to appreciate Dilla's music because they just don't understand and it's not their fault. What is a cheap alternative to the Ableton push that can help me chop? Dude, you don't need an external piece of hardware to play sample chops. Like you get, I'll just do it real quick just to show you. Okay, look, we'll pull up a sample. Just do this, right? Just consolidate it by pressing Command J or you can right click and consolidate. I don't, okay, it's right there. And then you slice to MIDI by right clicking, press slice to new MIDI track. I have a slicing preset here. If you wanna download that, just go to, just type in slicing preset, Chris Puncelon on YouTube and you can find it. And then I get a lot of questions about like the pop noises that it makes cause it doesn't chop it and it, it doesn't like make it smooth into the next chop. But if you just go here to fade out, just put it at like one millisecond and then put the fade out to one millisecond, right click this, press copy value to siblings. It'll copy that fade in to all of your slices and then do the same for fade out, copy value to siblings, and there you go. And now there's no pop. So if you press M on your keyboard, it'll change it to MIDI. And then you just gotta make sure you press Z all the way to where you get to the first chop. There you go, and you have sample chops.
is your process for making beats the same when you're not streaming? Like you get the idea always when I'm working with artists or if I'm just making beats by myself, I just quickly try to get the idea out in like 20, 30 minutes, you know, get a rough idea of all the instruments that I want in there, all the sequencing, and then I'll bounce it and then I'll come back to it later. Cause if you spend an hour trying to finish a beat and then I come back to it later and I'm like, this beat sucks. Then I just wasted the whole hour. But if I get the rough idea out, come back, judge whether it's good or not, and then go on from there. If you missed earlier, or if you haven't been on my YouTube or you're not in the Discord, or you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram, me and Eldre released a free sample and drum loop pack. 10 samples by me, 10 drum loops by Eldre, all royalty free. If you'd like to download it, you can download it here. Uh, all I ask in return is that you subscribe to me and Eldre on YouTube. I'm trying to get to 100K subscribers. We're almost there. I think we're at like 93,000. We're so fucking close. So uh, if you could do that for me, thank you. I'm just really trying to get fluent with uh, the keyboard. And like I said earlier, when I have a MIDI keyboard in front of me, I just want to press every single key that's on it. When I'm coming up with a melody, I'd get lost and I don't try to play what's in my head. I just play what's in front of me. And uh, I want to practice like playing what's in my head. How long has it taken for me to grow my YouTube channel to what it is today? So I started YouTube back in 2014. Basically, I just wanted to start these vlogs because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I just never really, I guess, got the courage to just pick up a camera and try it. Didn't start making production videos until 2017. Talk about my favorite free VST. That's going to conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Through. Shout out to so Kay Von Studios for these comments. So, three years? Happy birthday, Drake. Apparently, it's Drake's fucking birthday today. So, wait, it can't be Drake's birthday. It's not even October yet. Is putting beats on SoundCloud the best way to build a buzz? Um, honestly, I don't know if people are really looking for new music on SoundCloud. I could be wrong, but I think YouTube would be a better platform. But I think you should upload your music to all platforms. SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all that shit. And DistroKid makes it super easy. You can just upload to DistroKid and it'll direct it to all those channels. Because I'd like to learn from a man. Bro, if you're trying to learn FL Studio, watch Nick Mira's... Um, live streams. If you're not hip to Nick Mira, this dude had a nine hour stream. And he made like 50 beats. Go watch Nick Mira. Gotta add that little two-step snare. I would argue that Decap has the best drums in the game. And if you got a better a competitor, I promise you, it's not a competitor because <laughs> Decap is just the best. I saved it. I just don't know. <sighs> Is this what we're gonna do? It's my first time streaming at night. We're just gonna we're just gonna crash Ableton. Yeah, man. Gotta get that PC. It's it's shitting on me right now. Oh. Okay, we got it.
Are you fucking serious?